Hi, my name is Aaron Gerds, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Asheville's News. Welcome to this month's From the Desk Of. Well, it's December, and that can only mean one thing, annual meeting time, and I know everyone is excited to hear the latest and greatest, from scientific discoveries to those clinical trial results we've all been anticipating. Personally, I look forward to seeing friends and colleagues I haven't seen in a year or two years or even longer uh, at the annual meeting because it's such a big event that brings everybody from around the world together. And it just so happens this year that it coincides with another really big event that brings people together from all over the world, the World Cup, the sporting venue that really brings the world together for sure and uh, brings a lot of passion and cheering, just like hematology does at the annual meeting. And Ash is certainly capitalizing on this coincidence of events, having viewing stations for uh, World Cup games, as well as an opportunity even to pick up your very own hematology ash branded soccer jersey or football jersey if you will and we're certainly taking advantage of this in this issue of ash clinical news and we have a football themed issue starting with the editor's corner all the way through to our data stream and in addition we'll be covering dr milano who is a hematologist and soccer aficionado being both a player and coach uh, and our feature article is a concept where we take a look at two different teams on the field, the WHO and the ICC classification systems, which are now both present in the hematology. And these classification systems are so important. They're a common language that we use to describe disease. And now that we have two systems on the playing field, how are we going to reconcile this in everyday practice? Why did this happen in the first place? And is there any hope in the future for these two teams kind of joining forces back together again in the future? And so we're going to unpack all these questions in our feature article. And all of this is in addition to our normal literature scan coverage, as well as coverage in blood and blood advances, which is beefed up for the annual meeting edition. And of course, this edition, as every year, is available in your mailbox electronically as well as for you to pick up at the annual meeting so you can flip through the pages as you're waiting on the shuttle bus or waiting for that next session to start. So personally again I'm excited to see all of you in New Orleans. Uh, if not hopefully I will get to see you virtually or in person at some point throughout the year. And until then and until next edition of From the Desk Of, remember keep the blood pumping.